I don't think I've ever been quite as engaged in my professional life as that evening when I thought of the thousands of hours of effort that had been put into getting to Paris over, we now hear it's not thousands, it's many more, tens of thousands of hours through decades uh, and that this would be pulled. I was deeply afraid because of the urgency we've heard from Ruth. This is not 2100. The impacts are right outside here in your bark beetle uh, infestation in Colorado, your droughts, your wildfires. U.S. will not be exceptional. We will receive and already are receiving these impacts. So to have the president pull the plug on this sent a message to the United States that this was not an urgent problem, and more, most importantly to the rest of the world, uh, and pulled us all back. I think that we have not gotten up to speed yet. We will see that the federal government will not be a major player uh, for the immediate future uh, in the world of combating climate. We now see many other players stepping up. It reminds me a little bit of let a thousand uh, flowers bloom, so we're having cities, states, uh, NGOs, all redoubling their efforts to cut emissions. Uh, and that is fabulous. But I don't think it can get us where we need to go if we don't also have the efforts that take uh, a national approach, including the science. Uh, so you couple the budget cuts with the message uh, from the Trump administration as to deep uh, uncertainty in their belief that climate change is occurring, and then the rapidity of the impacts, uh, and it's very distressing. It is, in my opinion, a major setback and has allowed other countries, notably China and India, to have an opportunity to lead in a space that the U U.S., uh, was already strongly uh, in a leadership position. I think our allies deeply regret us stepping off the world stage at this moment. So that's my cheery message. Yeah. <laughs> can, can you, and then Bina, uh, Bina, you can fill in any blanks. Can you give a quick snapshot of what the resilience uh, strategy was? I think he's asking you first. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh. yeah. Uh, well, we took a look, uh, and. This came up, there was a question as to whether there is a document that uh, describes our risks that's a consensus document. Federal government issued that document in 2014. 300 scientists reached consensus as to what's contained in that report. Executive summary, word for word, was agreed to by 300 experts in this field. Uh, and I will just ask you to pause and think about consensus in your own life. When you have to reach consensus on something, what does that mean? It's probably conservatively stated, uh, which has, in fact, been true. We've already outpaced the prediction. It's the third national climate assessment. Wonderful interface online. You can go to this region, for example, and learn what the impacts are and what they're projected to be. Uh, regional impacts on infrastructure, everything. Uh, uh, energy systems, uh, biological impacts, health impacts. Uh, to better inform your, yourselves of the risk. Our resilience looked at flood, number one really damaging risk. We're already seeing record-breaking events all the time. First uh, four months of this year, we had 15 $1 billion damage events. Uh, so we need to address flood. We did a federal flood risk management standard. We did drought uh, planning. We did extreme heat planning. Uh, we set uh, standards for non-climate uh, earthquakes. Uh, we set standards for wildfires to better prepare the nation to withstand these risks. President Trump has indicated uh, that he is pulling back on some of these, including preparations, and this is the most ir ironic of all, for, of our national security apparatus to be prepared for the impacts across the globe as they hit populations with we've heard today, food insecurity, water insecurity, uh, and the migrations that will follow. And he's instructed that we no longer be involved in that. In my opinion, that poses huge risks. But that was our resilience agenda, uh, and uh, we're hoping that some of it can remain in place.